In this lecture, I will discuss the process of choosing appropriate drawing sheet scales and provide instructions on the use of drawing view scales. Let us start by reviewing the outcomes that result from studying this video lecture. You will 1. Learn the meaning of the drawing sheet scale. 2. Learn how to choose an appropriate drawing sheet scale. 3. Learn when to enlarge or reduce the drawing view scale of detailed section and or auxiliary views and 4. Understand the meaning of not to scale or do not scale drawing notes. In the previous lectures, we have discussed the importance of modeling full size and shape parts. Here we have a truncated cone with the base diameter of 3, the top diameter of 2, and the cone length of 2 and a bottom edge blend or fillet of 0.05 radius. One reason for creating full-size digital models is to take advantage of the CAD system's auto-dimensioning feature when annotating a digital drawing. In an earlier lecture, we learned how to fill out the required typical title block. One of the fields, as seen here, is the drawing scale or simply scale field. The scale or ratio placed in this field applies to all drawing views having no annotated drawing view scale. The standard front, right, and top orthographic views adhere to the scale printed in this field and do not have a scale label callout as part of their view. Most CAD systems automatically annotate the scale field with an, a ratio of the first or base view placed on the drawing sheet. Common ratios or scales are one to one, meaning the view and the drawings are the same size. 1 to 2, meaning the views are drawn half the size of the CAD model. 1 to 4, meaning the views are drawn one-fourth the size of the CAD model. Notice how these quarter scale views are too small for this A size drawing. If we say that the scale is 2 to 1 or 4 to 1, then the views are drawn twice or four times as large with respect to the size of the CAD model. On this slide, we see views that are 2 to 1 placed on an A-size format sheet. You should immediately see this as just plain ugly. However, place, placing these 2x views on a C size sheet of paper is acceptable. However, placing these 2x views on a C size format sheet looks acceptable, still leaving ample room for notes above the title block. The question one must ask is, does such a simple drawing require such a large piece of paper? Here are the ASME and ISO preferred scale drawings. Notice how in large scales are preferred to not be greater than 2x. That said, I have seen many real world small features needing 4x or even 8x scaled views to correctly represent and detail the features on the drawing. This concludes part one of drawing scale and drawing view scale. 